Hello, Assalamualaikum, everyone. Uh, we are live again. Uh, I'll just wait for a few minutes so that I uh, some viewers can join in. And I'll just check that if it is streaming on the page or not yet. Yeah, we are there. Okay, uh, so how is everybody? Uh, it's uh, I hope everybody is safe and uh, following all the SOPs if we are leaving the house. Okay, so today's session is very, very special to me because uh, when uh, the one of the motto of my page is to connect you all with the right people. And when I was struggling in the phase when I didn't know where to go, what to do for my son, how can I benefit him more? Uh, I met these two amazing ladies and I remember they set up the study center. I went there. It's such a cozy, warm, sweet place. I, I was sitting there with them and they guided me. And I think right now, first they uh, guided me to the right people. I think even if they are not directly doing anything with my son, whatever my son is right now and he's able to do is because of them, because they guided me where to go, what to do. So it's, it's in the end, the, the real struggle is that who gives you the right suggestion, who gives you the authentic picture. Sometimes it is, for instance, I remember uh, Tevina mentioning me that right now you, you need ABA, your son needs ABA and you're not giving it to him. So sometimes you need that reality picture by the people who are really dedicated in this field. So I'm so happy that I was able, um, that they are able to uh, have a session for my page. So let me uh, join them on the stream and one by one they'll give their introduction also. Hello, Tamina and Adila. Hi, Hi Tuba. Hi, Hi nice Tuba. to see you. Uh, Hi, Adila. Hi, Hi Tamina. <laughs> So, okay, uh, uh, can uh, Tamina, I'll start with you. Can you give a little bit introduction about yourself? Okay, so I have been in this field of education. Uh, I think Tamina, your net is uh, hello. Yeah, Tamina is frozen. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think her negative. So Adila, meanwhile, uh, you jump in your introduction. When she is back, she she can give hers. So okay. Adila, can you so, tell about us yourself? Uh, my name is Adila, and as Tuba has suggested, we run a center called the Study Center, and um, it is for regular academic learning as well as remedial learning. And okay, my so sorry, I think I got cut off. Okay, Tamina, you, Tamina you, you were gone. Yeah, it's fine. Adila, carry on. I think Adila, you continue, then she'll um, introduce yeah. herself. Yeah. So, um, I am uh, AMI trained, and I have done a lot of uh, like I've been teach I've been teaching uh, the pre nursery, nursery, KG age group since about I guess it's been ten years. Um, and last year, I also did um, two, like I've completed uh, the session of sand play training, which is a very effective way to work with children and adults. But with children, it's better because they have no inhibitions and they really don't have any understanding of if I use this, what is this going to mean? So in that way, sand play therapy, I haven't started uh, with my clients yet. But sand play therapy is something that I wanted to take up along with my academic uh, knowledge, you know, to combine the two. So we could channelize children, regular and ones who are special needs. And at the study center, that's what we are all trying to do. All of us trying, uh, trying to put in whatever knowledge expertise we have to make it basically better for our clients, which are basically children. And uh, my, but just before I put Tamina, Tamina comes on. My last words always are that if you whatever issues we all have, children have, if it's uh, started at the root level, half the issues are addressed and are sort of gone because whatever happens in our childhood, 
stays with us. And if we can tackle it there to a certain extent, at least one part of the battle is covered. Yeah, absolutely. This That's is the charm of the early yeah. intervention. Yeah, true. OK. okay. So, Damina, uh, so can you? I'll take it. Yeah. I think I was having some issue with the internet. Uh, so, I've worked abroad for 20 plus years in the field of education. Damina, can you close so your microphone a little bit? Uh, your voice is. Uh... Is it OK now? Yeah, better. I can. OK. So, I uh, worked in, in the field of education for 20 plus years. But uh, major, it was abroad. Uh, I moved to Pakistan two years back and then we started this study center with all my mm -hmm. dear friends. Uh, my special, so I have a education, a, a master's in education, and I also work with special needs kids. And I have worked in a different um, environments, like working in a school environment, as well as working in a learning center environment. So it has given me a lot of uh, experience and depth in, you know, working with different kinds of children. So I've worked in an inclusive school as well. That's why uh, I've worked with autistic children making their curriculum for uh, the academic needs. Um, also work with dyslexic children uh, and also work with normal children where, you know, you can say we can sometimes, we sometimes call them struggling learners or slow learners. Mm -hmm. So basically like the whole range of, uh, we can say under the umbrella, um, I, I've worked with them on the academic side. Okay, so you have to uh, understand that if there's a learning disability, there is an academic side as well as there is a, you know, a, a side where you have to take them for, um, like, for example, therapies, a speech therapy or, you know, occupational therapy. Mm -hmm. But my field is based basically on the academic side. So, um, yeah, having, uh, I, I, I mean, um, I've met a lot of these, uh, you know, people who have been in this field met for many years, everything abroad. So I just felt that when I came back, I wanted to just share my experience with, with parents like you, you know, like you mentioned that sometimes you just need a point in the right direction and then, yeah. and that's what you need. So, uh, and yeah. that's the reason we didn't, we act, actually act, had uh, made the study center, we set it up for, not just for special needs kids, because you know, a lot of times um, the curriculums in our school, um, and the teaching, the way it's been taught or whatever, it's very difficult for the parents to follow, right? So hmm. we come in in that sense that we actually work with these kids who have, who have developed gaps, right? So we work with them, we challenge them. There is also enrichment going on in our study center where you work with, uh, we challenge kids who are really bright as well. You can, you know, I wouldn't want, I don't want to say gifted children because um, they, I would say every child is gifted you know, in their way. But I would say mm. kids who have uh, that kind of, um, you know, um, brightness in academic, we work with them as well. So yeah, that's basically the background. Okay, I'll, I'll keep asking you guys about uh, how you are dealing with different cases at the study center. But can you give like a, 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 a like a summary of what study center is about? Okay, so uh, I'll start and then Adila can add in. Uh, we actually work with uh, students who, who are from um, age level three plus till, it's basically for primary uh, ch children in primary school. So three years till about 12, 13 years. So up till grade six, we don't go beyond grade six. Because what we felt was, you know, early intervention is the most important part. The earlier you intervene, the better the child gets. You know, he, he gets help, then all the, all the frustrations are cut out, and uh, and you know you can support yeah. them better. So we work with kids. We have two streams. We also have kids who have uh, who have come to us with gaps. So they, for example, when I say gaps, I mean that they are in probably grade one, but they are reading at a little bit lower level. They are struggling readers. Or uh, they're just like, you know, uh, any kid, but because they miss school due to some reason, so they develop gaps or they didn't understand yeah. the teaching, so they develop gaps. It could be for mm. any reason. Yeah. So one is that. The other is, um, uh, the other stream is if a child comes to us with a educational, uh, like a psychologist report, there is an ed psych report with them. So we mm. read through the report 
and then we are able to uh, prepare a uh, you know IEP, an interventional educational plan, based on the report. And then we start from there, and then we work, and based on what the advisors are given, we work. That will be very specific because the child already has a learning disability, which has been, um, you know, uh, which is uh, obvious and has been identified. Okay, a lot of times people who are coming to us are not with Ed Psych because uh, they just come to us with, like, sort of uh, requiring guidance because they they feel mm -hmm. that their child has some sort of a difficulty. And if it's, it is, what kind of difficulty they have? Is it a learning disability or not? Normally, that's not the case. We cannot just offhand say that this child has dyslexia because he's been reversing letters or numbers or he's not a re reading properly at grade one or two or three. That requires yeah. a lot of uh, stages to be identified. Okay, mm. so uh, that's what we, we, we are actually working uh, with, these, uh, with these kids. If... They are coming with ed psych or they're coming without ed psych. But normal children who, who are uh, they're struggling in spelling, they're struggling with their writing, their creative writing, um, we just give them support and help them, yeah. help them progress. Yeah. Adila, would you like to add something to it? Yeah, I mean, actually uh, sort of encompassed whatever we do. She's absolutely right. We do um, try to cover the gaps. And there can be many reasons that children have gaps. I think uh, mostly what I feel is that gap comes in because um, there, there are too many kids in one one class. I'm talking about maybe grade one or two. And so every child learns differently. And because you're an average, I don't mean average as in level-wise average, but a regular average teacher will cater to 20 children or 22 children. Out of those 22 children, three may be not working well in a group or are having issues of many kinds, social or sattai, koi ghar show or sattai. Like a child, when a child comes to you, he actually doesn't bring himself, he brings his whole home to you. Yeah. And I always feel that, that, yeah. that when a child is coming to you, it's not the child. You have to read and look behind that that child and um, figure out why wh what's going on with that child. And then, of course, okay, like Tamina said, if if you feel there's an academic gap, you you know you you see the red flags. You don't see the red flags. You Take it a notch higher or lower. I mean, you, like I mean, as if we have individual IEPs in which we decide, ke, okay, Adila needs this, Temina needs this, XYZ mm. needs this. It's not that you have cut and dry and kar you know, and that is how schools actually work. Schools work yeah. for a regular average kid who, I mean, and again, no intelligence, nothing. I'm just saying, like, a regular kid is going to be okay in one environment but not okay in the other he might like one teacher might not like the other this so, they like a, i can't even tell you how many reasons there could be for a child to behave a certain way or to grasp a certain way or to sort of uh, put his thoughts to paper a certain way there can be so many impediments yeah. there can be no impediments but the channelizing is not happening yeah so absolutely so, like as academics, as parents, I think what we need to do is we need to figure out the channel, which channel to take. And it's always a triangle, like the child, the family, or the mother, father, parent, and of course, the teacher. I mean, it's not like that the child is not doing school in school or not doing it at home or not doing it at I mean, well-rounded, you have to give that skill set to them. Because in three places, it's, it's tough, it's hard. But they need, they need to level all three. And I guess that part we are filling in. Of the, of, you know, maybe the extra help or the, 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 the concentrated help that we can provide. For, for a child, I yeah. mean, the child is brilliant, but he's just, he, she is not okay because that environment is not suiting them or that confidence level is not there or they don't like their teacher, mm. they don't like their parent or they don't like something at home. Mm. I mean, you know, so we best try to, to, to sort of fix the jigsaw piece. 
I mean, I would yeah. say that. Yeah, and I think this is a very important. Uh, sometimes parents don't realize the only thing that is missing is not missing in the child. It's just the environment. And sometimes getting that extra help just supports the child in the right way. So and and yeah. then they flourish. So that is True. what uh, this. I think the study center is providing brilliantly. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I'll start with the questions that I prepared because, uh, uh, and uh, uh, in on my group, we haven't discussed about slow learners and learning disorders much. So, and especially slow learners. So, starting with that, what does this mean? What is a slow learner, and what are struggling learners? Uh, if I may, um, so slow learners and struggling learners. Struggling learners could be uh, like like Madila just mentioned. The child could be brilliant, but could be struggling because of the environment. Because it could be the teacher is not right. He's not understanding the teaching. He doesn't like mm -hmm. to be in that class. Emotional. He doesn't like the school. It's a new. There could be other environmental factors. There could also be that the way the teacher is teaching. He is not understanding it. So several mm -hmm. other factors can lead to a struggling learner. There could be emotional things happening at home. Which is actually, uh, you know, keeping his uh, attention away from what he sh should be. So yeah. I would say that's when the child starts to struggle. Yeah, that's start. They they're not able to grasp the academic what is being taught in school. It could be because the class size is too big. It could be because the, you know, uh, a teacher has placed him in a higher group where he should be in a different group. There could be many ways. Mm. But when you're talking mm. about slow learners, slow learners, I won't say that they are. Um, they are. Um, uh, they don't come under the umbrella of learning disabled child. You know, there is a learning disability there. A slow learners would, uh, I, I would feel it, it means that where a child is struggling to grasp a con like a concept, yeah, mm. uh, he takes a bit longer than process it. He yeah. will yeah. process it. Eventually he will get it, but it's a bit slow process. Um, so academically, it takes a bit longer for a child to get from a point A to a point B when he's a slow learner. Okay, but he will get there eventually. If he, if but we have to be very sure that we give the proper kind of support to a both the struggling child or a slow learner. Right, struggling child may be brilliant because uh, mm. he, he could be struggling because of several other reasons, not because he doesn't have that sort of you know intelligence level or. A slow learner is also. I'm not saying intelligent, not intelligent, but if you if you look at the IQ, uh, you know, level, they might be a little bit lower than what uh, we would say like a normal uh, achiever would have between 80 and above. If it's 80 below, mm. you know, sometimes 74, 75. So I mean, it, it's that reason that they they actually take slower. They uh, they may uh, listen to the instruction and then take time to process it and then execute it. Okay, that's that's the. But slow learners are, are they they are I wouldn't say they are they don't they are not uh, children with learning disability but they are slow in basic uh, you know uh, um, performing the academic capabilities they will do it but at the yeah. time when they are able to understand so that and uh, the way you explain the Mina, that's I'm recalling one of my students I always brag about my that particular student. Uh, she was excellent in understanding the psychological concepts. I teach psychology and she was understanding uh, and she was excellent at relating it to the real life and the application process. But she got a D because she is not able to write. Mm. She's not able to express what mm. is going on here in on the piece of paper. But I think in my teaching career, she has been the best student I have. So, uh, that uh, ca students like her ca uh, comes uh, come can come under struggling and uh, slow learner. I wouldn't call her a slow learner because she's intelligent, right? She's brilliant. Yeah. She understands the concepts. She yeah. understood what you were teaching. It's just like the of expl expressing. She couldn't write it. Yeah, she that just couldn't write it. That's an aspect where we have to understand that if you, are, yeah. So if she's not a good strong writer, but she's good at verbally, verbally. So we, we have to understand that if a child is not able to write at all, we don't have to uh, make sure that they, we don't have to force the child to write. Obviously, we have to make sure 
yeah they have to write but if you're ch- talking about child in secondary school he's already reached the mm. age where you know coming back to the basics of uh, applying the writing skills mm. it's too cumbersome that doesn't make any sense but you can actually provide different ways of doing it help uh, maybe she can record her uh, you know her answers mm. maybe there is a there is a scribe who can write her answers so we have to mm. then look at different aspects of it right we don't have yeah. to fight with the child and say you have to write because that's what everybody has to do if you haven't looked at the child and helped her initially from the, like i said early intervention is the best right if you mm. if you haven't mm. done that and his child the child has reached a stage where it's almost i wouldn't say impossible it, it's going to take longer than normal to do it so let the child flourish in the way they can do the way they can learn yeah that's what my take yeah. is on that absolutely right yeah. and uh, then i think you how to then discriminate between like parents do get confused that are they just slow learners or are they having any kind of a learning disorder okay so for okay, that when you want to just like i yeah go, go ahead, ahead. Go sorry go, go ahead. ahead no 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 go ahead no no, no so, okay. you you go ahead and i'll add to it yeah sure so for that uh, basically uh, of course early intervention like i mean i mentioned is the best thing and yeah. the early intervention obviously will have to come maybe not so much from the home but a lot from school because at school because you have a comparison right agar aapka ek bachcha hai to aapko to nahi idea hoga ki baki bachche kaisa kar rahe hain right but as a as a teacher or as a as a uh, yeah as a teacher in in a school you will be able to gauge ki okay i have 15 kids and mm. this one is or this these three or whatever there is some gap or there is some something is there which is missing what mm. is it or, or like uh, before you label or in your mind even think ki ki this child is lagging behind are you sure that you have tried all the different ways to teach that child yeah. maybe that child is not performing with 10 kids that child needs maybe a smaller group of 3 yeah. maybe that child needs needs a group in which one one child is super chatty and one child is not so chatty and then he have yeah. this need to compare or or you know get better or use those examples like children learn by emulating adults for starters right and and then when they go to school and in the same social age group and set up it's much easier for them to relate to each other yeah agar ek bachcha dekh raha hai ki dusre bachche ne itna kar liya to shayad uska bhi wo competitive cheez ke andar se uthegi aur wo kahega ha mujhe aise karna hai but theek hai that is the that is how much the child can do and from his work it he will sort of prove to you that this is his level right as 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 a student that's it, what a child will do and as a as a parent or a teacher that is will be your gauge but you if you do feel that okay this child is is maybe not concentrating enough or maybe this child is just not getting this concept Mm. try a different way like that hamare study center ka to uh, quote hi woh hai ki if i can't teach the way you uh, if i can't learn the way you teach will you teach me the way i learn yeah so you know us us on sari cheezon karne ke baad aap sochenge ki okay ab ye waqai red flag hai yeah. ab hum next step karna hai and the problem is adila that education educational centers over here schools think that this is not their a problem exactly. and that is where they are wrong for instance if i have a class they are coming in each and every one for instance if i am not creating the safe environment in my class of course they are going to do that they are going to fake their potential just to impress the teacher they can't be honest ke miss i am not able to write even this line they won't be able to, uh, to be honest with themselves they're not yeah. then again if they are faking it they won't be able to challenge themselves also in the right way yeah. so i think this is where teachers and education schools should understand that we need to even if there is this big class each and every student is our responsibility and they need and they need to the child sure. the children need to get get it somehow 
that is your job as a teacher and okay yeah. and i'm not saying that teachers don't some i mean i'm not saying teachers don't try hard enough i'm sure they do but it's it's a lot has to do with our educational system and our grading and the fact that we base everything it's result oriented yeah अब रिजल्ट ओरिएंटेड है हम भी एक केजी या प्रेप या वन के बच्चे को सैडली उस लेवल पे ही गेज करेंगे ना कि टू में जा सकता है कि नहीं या प्रेप का वन में जाएगा कि नहीं ठीक है वो है उन चीजों को लेते हुए हम जो हेल्प कर सकते हैं हम हमें करनी चाहिए एज अ पेरेंट एज अ टीचर एज अ सिबलिंग एंड ऑल्सो अलॉट ऑफ इट हैज टू लाइक अगेन लाइक द मेंटल हेल्थ हम yeah. समझते हैं चार साल की बच्ची की कोई मेंटल हेल्थ इसको कुछ नहीं पता चल रहा कोई बात नहीं इसको रहने दो इट्स ओके दे दे अंडरस्टैंड यू हैव टू गो टू देयर लेवल या एंड इन क्लास आई एम सॉरी एंड आई आई हैव बीन अ टीचर एंड आई कैन वेरी राइटली से दैट आई एम श्योर आई हैव समटाइम्स मिस जज एंड नॉट जस्टिफाइड ईच एंड एवरी स्टूडेंट बिकॉज ए आई एम नॉट केपेबल i am not trained to be a psychologist i am not trained i am trained a t- as a teacher okay if you're lucky if i have empathy and tamina has empathy but if you don't have empathy what can we do you don't have it so yeah. so so for you to to be able to realize it okay it's not your job it's tamina's job to do this or it's romana's job or it's xyz's job you take that child to a to a person who can do it yeah That is also your responsibility. Your responsibility doesn't end there. Because it's A B C. आ गई. बस अब मेरा काम खत्म. हाँ और फिर दूसरा ये कि इसका grade क्या है? अगर इसका grade वो है कि A है या B है तो फिर ठीक है. C है तो it's the child's responsibility. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
they just need the right you know the right mm -hmm. place to hit, hit the iron where it's hot that mm -hmm. i think that is about it and we need to believe in the child's potential also of course and like i said uh, um, that every child has a different yeah. way of learning and a different field of uh, excellence yeah yeah to matlab wo cheez to hame mil sakti hai okay and uh, another question is that if these if these students are struggling so much why are they not often eligible under special education taimina sorry i didn't i didn't get the question i didn't hear it properly i'm saying that sorry. if these students like slow learners that we just discussed are struggling so much why are not eligible to come under uh, special education uh see like i said slow learners are slow learners they they will learn when they are able to right they they will take some time it's normal for them to take time but they don't come under the umbrella of uh, special needs right they just need the right kind of support or the right kind of teacher to guide them to a proper path right a teacher has to the problem is you know we all need to be uh like we are all teachers but how can good is the child does you know and try everything to every temina you are getting frozen we are not able to hear you uh, really it's cutting off in between i think her net is uh, yeah again yeah adida if you have something to say about it by the time she comes back okay i think she's back is back uh, well it's go what was your question again oh there she's back I Amina yeah so we couldn't uh, hear anything you said so can you like start from the uh, start no now we can't we can't hear you Amina you are unmute no can you take off the headphones maybe that would work we can't hear you tamina you're still no no tamina we can't hear you okay can you repeat the question tuba i was just there asking ke if uh, the slow learners that we were just discussing if they are having so many struggles why can't they come under the heading of special education why can't they be provided a special education because for that they have to be, there is a battery of tests hmm. that has to be done there could be aba there could be um speech issues there could be tamina are you back she is there but i think we cannot hear her no okay. again we can't there could be academic issues which 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 are not going to be be able to handle by regular teachers who are mm. not, have to go to a trained person because oh she's gone off oh i think she's hello Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back with my computer. I think my phone was giving. Ah, uh, I. This is we are much better. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, I think the phone was having. So, uh, carry on, Adila. I'll answer Tuba's question later. She, uh, I know the question. So you carry on, I'm and I'll join in. I was. I have. I had started answering your question only, like this question only. I was. Just yeah, answer, answer, answer it. I, I'll join in. I was just saying that struggling learners are different mm -hmm. from. differently abled children in 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 the terms that the uh, tuba was using so the strategy strategy can't be the same for both of them 
और उनके लिए प्रॉपर टेस्टिंग की जरूरत होती है उनके मार्कर्स अलग होंगे उनके बेंचमार्क्स अलग होते हैं इसलिए हम हमें उनके लिए ट्रेन फॉर दैट वी नीड अ ट्रेन पर्सन अ ट्रेन टीचर एंड अ ट्रेन पर्सन हु कैन एंड अ ट्रेन असेसमेंट लाइक वी डू एट एट द स्टडी सेंटर लाइक एक्स वाइज कम्स एंड सेस ओके माय चाइल्ड इज यू नो लैकिंग बिहाइंड इन क्लास मैं कुछ एंक्शियस पेरेंट्स भी आते हैं कि हमारा बच्चा यू नो नीचे है क्लास में ऊपर नहीं है हालांकि दे आर लाइक इन ग्रेड 1 and you're like mm-hmm. what's wrong with them mm-hmm. and what this so, so you know so mm-hmm. for that kind of a parent you have to also try to gauge ke dekhi let's give it time yeah agar to unke kahi mm-hmm. kisi teacher ne unko kaha ya unke koi you know there's there's a there's a protocol coming from school saying okay my child you know this child isko assess kara le isko test kara le phir to banta hai phir to like banta hai ki agar aapko school ne recommend mm-hmm. kiya but agar aap mm-hmm. uh, Aap as anxious parent are there, which is fine. Nowadays, everybody is anxious. I mean, even before COVID, I'm yeah. talking about because there's so much th- focus on competition, competition, doing better. That a regular child, if he's slightly anxious or sensitive, they're not going to perform because on the back of the mind, if I if my my A star se A a gaya, to my what will happen? My mom, my teachers, I will be. you know sort of set aside yeah. that is yeah. different that child ko we will probably right. take you know we will start te- teaching him his way her way and we we probably know okay okay go this is just a competition issue there is no yeah. other reason for this child to lag behind right hmm. yeah and sometimes kids because they do over studying they're just bored at, in school they don't want to do it because unko to pehle se ya आपने उनको पहले से इतना स्टिम्यूलेट दे दिया और इतना कुछ दे दिया कि अब वो तो मेहनत ही नहीं करेंगे वो ग्राउंड फॉर गॉड नोज वॉट इन लेटर स्टेजेस बट बट फॉर अ स्पेशल नीड आपका यू नो वट में इट कुड बी फिजिकल सोट ऑफ नीड ऑल्सो विच द चाइल्ड इज सोट ऑफ यू नो नीड्स एक्स्ट्रा हेल्प इन it could be visual it could be um, like something to do with your audio it could be something to do with your speech those also can be covered and then your child will probably come at pace then there are the issues which like with special needs kids with they mean a sort of excels in which they have actually have academic issues because of their development delay in musc- muscular movements or de- de- delay in some you know sort of brain brain challenges then then we come in and we are also plus with a team phir bhi ye nahi hota ki ek ek bachcha jo hai wo whole and soul bachche ko handle kar raha hai yeah um if i i think the question i was answering you was probably you asked me about uh if a slow learner uh will get the special needs instructions or not is that the question yeah. you asked tuba will yeah. you be able to yeah. rephrase yeah. it yeah. here okay so yeah. the reason why a slow learner is cannot get a special needs is because he doesn't he is not been identified as a learning disab- child with a learning disability mm. if you need a special you see you need a special attention for a slow learner yeah first of all special attention means you have to teach the child that way and give him time to grasp that whatever uh, knowledge he needs to be taught if you are not doing that mm. like the pace is too fast for him you will never obviously expect the child to be there where you want it to be right you need to make sure that you give that time to the child yeah. if a child is a struggling learner right that's what i mean struggling learner i mean it doesn't qualify under the umbrella and slow yeah. learner also doesn't because as long as you don't if they don't qualify they need to have that psych ed done once that is done then they will be able to qualify but i mean the thing is besides the point whether they ha- they are struggling learner or slow learner uh, we also know for a fact that in our government we don't have a policy of helping special needs kids right there is no such no. policy here no there is if you go abroad like in the uk or the us if a child has been identified as being having a learning disability right and they go through all these stages of being getting into educational psychologist a you know assessments done and all the evaluation when a full scale evaluation has been done mm-hmm. and it has been identified that he comes under the umbrella then for sure he needs a special needs 
instructor to be with him or all sorts whatever he needs yeah as long as he's not identified a slow learner doesn't qualify because he is not an, uh, a child with learning disability he's slow in processing he he is slowing uh, uh, you know uh, because of uh, the way he, he, his brain works but he does work right you it's our responsibility to understand that he is a slow learner we have to give him time if a, you are yeah. asking your child to do a question in within 20 minutes give this child 30 minutes mm -hmm. there's no harm in doing that don't give the pressure on the child as a, oh you have to finish in 20 minutes then you will yeah. lose the child he will not be do he will not do at all because then he his brain you know you he will be so uh, upset or frustrated because yeah. he knows he, he still is trying to understand right yeah. And a struggling yeah. learner could be, like I said, struggling learner could be very intelligent. We just need to understand why he or she is struggling. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's that's what actually. I mean, and when we in our in we we get a lot of we actually get struggling learners, right? They are struggling because of gaps in their uh, you know knowledge. They have come to grade one, but they are there are gaps in in literacy in in kindergarten. They haven't they haven't. Uh, learned the way it should be learned so if you don't learn the a b c d or the sounds or you know the high frequency word or the uh, you know uh, uh, sight words and you come to grade one, obviously how do you expect the child to be reading yeah, yeah. he hasn't grasped that knowledge the first step hasn't been done and you're expecting me to do he, if he is a brilliant child like i said they are brilliant they will they will start memorizing it Okay, if he's a, he's a strong visual learner, he will memorize it. But to what extent? There will come a time when he will just say, "I can't do it anymore." Right. So we 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 what we do is we find out what are the gaps, what were the gaps, yeah. why he's not able to do it, and then we start with them, right? And then you, I mean, these struggling learners catch up so quickly. It's not yeah. even. I mean, they are amazing. They will catch up so quickly, and they excel then. You know, Absolutely. we have we have so many stories in our study center. Uh, parents can actually vouch for it that they keep on telling us that you know my child wasn't you know he he just didn't want to go to school because he was so upset that he couldn't read or he couldn't write or he couldn't spell. Now he's a happy child going to school, and and we feel so proud when we hear even a one child we make a difference in one child's life. That's that's like a big, you know, um, for us it's a big gift. That's we we really love it, you know. That's what you want to hear. And I think ये 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 जो term है ना struggling learner ये बहुत different है for some everyone. For instance, अगर मैं अपनी पूरी class है मेरे पास thirty students हैं और मैं उनको एक one page ऐसे question दूँ और मैं बोलूँ पांच मिनट में complete करो. Nobody will be able to do it. So is everyone a struggling learner? No. So no, the problem no. is that we don't understand a child capabilities. अगर हम सबके potentials yeah. को limitations को समझने लग जाए ना, there will be no struggling learner. यहाँ पे ये मिस्ट आए ना कि घर में बच्चा ये सुनता रहता है कि तुम इस subject में A नहीं लाए, मगर उसका बेटा तो देखो कैसे लिया है, वो तो बाहर खेलता भी है, वो तो बाहर जाता भी है, वो तो tennis भी खेलने जाता है, वो gym भी जाता है, और देखो A ले आया. और तुम घर में बैठे रहते हो, और तुम पढ़ You know, ये सारी yeah. एक तो कंपेरिजन में मारे जाते हैं बच्चे फिर अगेन yeah. तो ये सारी जो चीजें ना एंड अदीला यूज द टर्म एंशियस पेरेंट्स ये पेरेंट्स की तरफ से इतनी एंजाइटी प्रोजेक्ट होती है ऑन द चाइल्ड एंड आई कैन सी ट्रस्ट मी तमीना आई नो यू गाइस विल बी एबल टू रिलेट टू इट मेरे सवालों के जवाब मुझे मुझे पीटीएम में मिल रहे होते हैं मेरे सारे मेरे सवालों के जवाब how like i said the child is just not one he's bringing a whole house with him yeah so and you know in in the study center what we we strive to do is every now and then we have the child coming to us but we make it a point ke hum hum parents ko feedback dete rehte hain hum parents se meeting karte rehte hain and whenever they ask for a feedback they when they ask for a meeting that how many samajh aa rahi how he is doing you know we have you see the problem is It's not a quick fix. Yes. We don't have magic wands. That you, our child, will come to us. And within three months, you're expecting that child to excel. Yeah. We never promised that, right? What we promised is we will bring him to a stage where he should be at. Yeah. Mind you, you have to remember what his capabilities are, what what his you know strengths and weaknesses are. We have to make sure to to understand that part as well. Expectations are very high. Very high. 
राइट आगे yes. ताकि तो हर पेरेंट की होती है बट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड के एक्सपेक्टेशन उस लेवल पे आपको रखनी चाहिए जिस लेवल पे वो बच्चा परफॉर्म कर सकता है यू कैन फोर्स अ चाइल्ड टू डू समथिंग व्हिच इज नॉट एबल टू डू राइट आई रिमेंबर इन वन ऑफ माय मीटिंग्स पेरेंट टीचर मीटिंग देयर वाज दिस चाइल्ड ब्रिलियंट चाइल्ड बट नॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू ग्रेड्स अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज कम्युनिकेशन इन द क्लास एक्सीलेंट द वे ही गेव द एविडेंसेस ही रीड सो मच ही हैड सो मच नॉलेज बट अगेन इन एक्सप्रेशन ही यूज्ड टू गेट अ लिटिल लेट बैक सो आई रिमेंबर हिज फादर वाज projecting so much anxiety that it why aren't you putting him uh, you know pressurizing him to write more write more is why isn't he so but then by the time that we had the session uh, and he was about to leave he said ke i hope that in the next term when i meet you you are going to tell me that he is writing very well so his son turned around and said okay then you will learn by in next term by that time you are going to learn japanese and you are going to able to write japanese <laughs> if you are be able to do that i am going to be able to write well See, so that's what i'm saying expectations yeah. should be where what really? they yeah. are capable of doing and and you know usual expectations from your child is not going to help you or not going to help your child aap agar expect kar rahe ho ki us wo bachcha writing bhi mein expression mein kare so did you support that child in certain way or you just kept on expecting ki wo karega wo karega aisa nahi ho sakta hamare problem hamare parents ke sath hi hai राइट सपोर्ट नहीं करनी लेकिन एक्सपेक्ट करना है राइट स्कूल भेज दिया इसका मतलब कि वो भाई स्कूल जा रहा है टीचर अच्छी और बुरी उसको करना है वो सारे बच्चे करते हैं वो क्यों नहीं कर सकता अरे सारे बच्चे अपने लिहाज से करते हैं यू नो इफ यू वांट इफ यू आर अ कम्पेटिटिव पेरेंट आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट यू मेक प्रोविजन पॉसिबल फॉर द चाइल्ड सो दैट ही कैन ऑल्सो एक्सेल लाइक यू वॉन्ट हिम टू एक्सेल Yeah, when yes. when you support properly, the child will. Child will at his own level. You have to remember at his own level, right? At this level, I will add one more thing. Of course, level and also interest is a huge thing. Interest. interest so, like, I feel that interest to teacher banati hai. Teacher, exactly. Teacher banai ki. Agar teacher banai ki. Agar mere teacher samne hai jo is constantly talking, right? I am not interested in that class anymore Absolutely. because I don't want somebody just talking talking and giving me all I need interactive work uh, less talking time more hands on time hamari class mein jo division of ye jo hai na jis tarah se teacher padhaye padhati hain wo wo division teacher mein normal like you know they don't divide that kind of a, uh, their work lesson plan ke bhai theek yeah. hai aapko introduce to topic karna padta hai ke bhai aap ye topic kar rahe ho but while you introducing How are you introducing it? वो भी तो आप करो ना, yeah. right? It, और मुझसे लोग ये कहते हैं कि ये तुम्हारे लिए कहना बहुत आसान है, because तुम्हारे पास ऐसा subject है. But I remember, I'll give my example. Throughout my school life, I was very bad at maths to the level that just thinking about maths used to give me anxiety. And when I entered masters, I had to study stats for the whole term. And I remember how will I do it? But I got such an excellent teacher that I got an a four GPA in my stats. so it's all That's about it. how you teach yes. uh, the subject how you teach exactly aur ek acha teacher jab hoga na in a classroom whether see normal i would 25 se bacche zyada honge to wo struggle hoga agar ek teacher hogi us class mein do teacher hona zaruri tha ki you can divide the group ke bhai jo low is a slow learners hai ya struggling learners hai wo aise group mein ho jisme dusra teacher bhi aapko dekh sake right yes that that's what normally is But when you are in a, in a big classroom, a teacher plan जब lesson करता है ना तो वो obviously has to see सबसे बड़ी बात है कि हमारे schools को ना you need to give um, जैसे in service days होते हैं जिसके अंदर आपको PDs होती हैं professional developments constant होनी चाहिए and constant professional development ये होता है कि you need to teach the teachers भी you see you can't just blame the teachers also I am not saying that teachers yeah. don't need teachers yeah. also have a life right yes ठीक है एक्सपेक्टेशंस तो होती हैं टीचर्स से लेकिन प्रोवाइडिंग देम जस्ट दैट बिट ऑफ यू नो लाइक होल्डिंग द हैंड इन द वे अगर वो टीचर को नहीं आ रहा कि वो किस तरह इंटरेक्टिव क्लास करें शी जस्ट नीड्स वन एग्जांपल एंड दैट्स इट यू कैन गो एंड सिट ऑन इन अनदर टीचर्स क्लासरूम एंड ऑब्जर्व कि वो टीचर अच्छा कर रही तो वो कैसे कर रही है या राइट ये ट्रांसपेरेंसी भी होनी चाहिए हमारे स्कूलों में आई फील ये नहीं है नहीं है नहीं वो ईगो की बात आ जाती है ना कि इसका मतलब है कि आई एम डिक्लेयरिंग दैट आई डोंट नो एग्जैक्टली 
अगर आपका फोकस हो तो फिर तो आपको वो होता ही नहीं है कि मैं कैसे पढ़ा रही हूँ या मैं कैसे नहीं पढ़ा रही हूँ आपने अपने आप को तो नहीं प्रूव करना Hmm. And you know what? I believe that I get better at teaching every year because of my students. Because I, I keep asking them. Yeah, no problem. Think this than any other way. Because sometimes, a much more excellent teachers push me because I I have now into a stage where students trust me a lot. So, a much more students teachers excellent push me that. तो इसको कैसे मैनेज करें अगर आपके पास एक सिनेरियो जिसमें students wants to do A and The right way is to do B. What will you do? I say that I will always, if the majority agrees, I will try their way. A. If it works, I'm I'm uh, learning something new. If it doesn't work, I'll say okay, I tried yours, it didn't work. Now let's try mine. Hmm. So That's true. You should, yeah, you should be open. Open minded to change. You the the thing open mindedness. जब होगी ना, you will automatically change. because you want to see acha usne acha kiya let me try that you just have yeah. to be open minded and and learn from anyone or anywhere everyone bachche bhi hame sikha dete hain bahut sari dafa aise kar nikal jaate hain bachche yeah. hum bahut sari cheeze sikhate hain yes, and yeah. only if you are accept, accepting ke yes we are, we, are, we can learn balki aap yeah. bachche hi sikha rahe hote hain at least i'm talking for the children who come to me they yeah. have I'm teaching me. If I'm screaming a little bit, they're like, uh, "Auntie, loud." You know, whatever, whatever, however they can express it, and then you understand that okay, this child is not going to learn like this. He's a different child. Oh. Try There another. My Try son another. is non-verbal, and he has taught me so much in every activity that I do with him. He's teaching me more. Yes. So you know, this is how it should so be with parents, parents, with the teachers. This is how it should be, and it's not difficult. You just need to be a little more accepting, little more empathetic yes. towards them. That's it. Absolutely, Absolutely. I agree with you, Tuba. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and uh, uh, one question. I think this is very. Um, I wanted to ask you because this is a question that mothers, from uh, what I have gathered from my group, that a self blame game, which is that, na, that why are they a slow learner is this because i did something wrong during the pregnancy is this something i did wrong while he like with the raising him so you know is bare mein what do you think what do you have to say you mean the cause right yeah the cause yeah see um learning agar hum learning disability pe baat karte hain ki agar kisi bacche ko dyslexia hai ya dyscalculia hai you know dysgraphia hai whatever there could be many reasons sometimes it's family genetics as well In fact, okay. what I would recommend अगर किसी को पता हो ना कि किसी के पेरेंट को है या किसी सिबलिंग को है दे हैव टू बी वेरी अलर्ट विद दैट चाइल्ड बिकॉज इट इज पॉसिबल दैट द चाइल्ड गेट्स इट होता है ठीक है देर आर रिस्क इन प्रेगनेंसीज इज वेल दैट मेंटल यू नो आपका ब्रेन डिवेलपमेंट के टाइम पे समथिंग शुड बी बट यू कैन ब्लेम योर सेल्फ यू आर नॉट डूइंग एनी थिंग टू द चाइल्ड द चाइल्ड वॉज ग्रोइंग Nor, I mean, normally that's what we thought, but slow learner. Because की वजह से हो गया. Maybe during pregnancy, oxygen didn't reach the the brain and something. You know, whatever. There could be so many. There could be prenatal and neonatal reasons. We don't know. There could be some trauma. Some maybe he fell on his head or something happened. We don't know. Yeah. Right. That that you cannot blame anyone because this is not under our control. अगर बच्चा गिर जाए. हाँ. Sometimes you know it happens that. बच्चा कभी यू नो गिर जा कोई गिर जाता है कोई ट्रामा होता है टू द हेड टू द ब्रेन एंड सडनली यू रियलाइज कि वो बच्चा इज नॉट फंक्शनिंग नॉर्मली देन दैट्स अ ट्रामा राइट तो आप किस अपने आप को कैसे ब्लेम कर सकते हो राइट यू कैन नॉट मैथ इन फैक्ट आई वुड एक्चुअली से कि अगर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इफ यू नो आपकी फैमिली में कभी ऐसे इंस्टेंसेस है कि भाई हाँ कोई लर्निंग डिसेबिलिटी है यू नीड टू बी actually cautious zyada zyada you know hamare parents ko agar aisa kuch bol do na to wo they become very uh, stressed ke oh yeah. you know ab wo shayad mere bacche mein aisa nahi hota maybe hoga to wo log nikal lenge bilkul 
जरूरी नहीं है कि बच्चा रिवर्सल्स कर रहा है नंबर्स में है उसमें तो ही इज डिसलेक्सिक नो इट्स नॉट दैट्स नॉट व्हाट इट इज इट यू नो द रिवर्सल्स भी आई से से यू कैन इवन समटाइम्स सी द रिवर्सल्स इन अ ग्रेड 3 चाइल्ड ऐसा नहीं होता कि सिर्फ ग्रेड 1 और किंडरगार्टन पे वो स्टेज कभी होता है कि कोई बच्चा ग्रेड 3 तक ले जाता है बट नॉर्मली ग्रेड 1 ग्रेड 2 में वो चीजें ऐसे ऐसे खत्म हो जाती है इट डजंट मीन दैट योर चाइल्ड इज डिसलेक्सिक सो ये टू ब्लेम वन सेल्फ इट हैपेंस during a brain development that's what i can say you cannot blame yourself you didn't have any control over that can you control how your child's brain develops no you cannot mm-hmm. yeah you can't and even if you get that for instance when every mother goes through that if they have any yeah. a child with special needs they do go through this phase that did i do something wrong but then it's even if someone asks me now i ask them that okay if even if you figure out what was the yes. what the cause was उटलोट except Absolutely. you have maybe sometimes you know ye hota hai ki bachcha gir gaya hit the head ha of course that that was under agar uski wajah se koi cheez issue hua hai to fir i won't blame you because obviously ma ke liye you know you you there for the child but sometimes it can happen that could yeah. be something you could have actually avoided but other controls ag- agar family mein hai to aap kya kar sakte ho agar aapki family yeah. mein nahi hai aapke husband yeah. ke hai wo aap kya usme kya kar sakte ho aap can't mm-hmm. right yeah But providing the right help is in your control. Providing the attention they require is in your control. So let's just focus First on what acceptance. Yeah. Yeah. Acceptance at earlier as earlier as possible. Jitni jaldi aap is cheez ko accept karein, act on it. Like I said, early intervention. You know, ek bachcha jo struggle karao early intervention se aap foran usko you like I told you, hamare yahan pas itne saare bachche aaye hain. They have become good readers, good spellers, good writers. राइट यू नो सो अर्ली इंटरवेंशन हुई पेरेंट्स ने यू नो अपनी रिस्पांसिबिलिटी समझी एंड देन ब्रॉट देम टू यू नो वेयर दे आर सपोज्ड टू बी स्लो लर्नर्स के लिए यू अंडरस्टैंड यू आर इन यू हैव टू बी एंगेज्ड यू हैव टू बी एंगेज्ड कांस्टेंटली विद द चाइल्ड विद द चाइल्ड इट्स लाइक लाइक दीला सर इट्स अ ट्रायंगल इट्स अ थ्री वे यू यू नीड टू बी एंगेज्ड विद द चाइल्ड विद द पेरेंट हब हम आपस में डिस्कशन करते हैं हमें पता चलता है कि बच्चा आगे किस तरह जा रहा है and i think after to... the study center pe wo bachche zyada jaldi excel karte honge jinke parents bahut uh, positively involved hai mashallah have... we have been very lucky yes. we have been very lucky we've got wonderful parents they yes. are amazing you know and they you know ye hai ki feedback bhi mangna you know asking us ki what how or uh, how can we help more so that's what oh. you can do uh, rather than going and looking for the cause ke mai cause to nahi hu is cheez ka i think you should accept and say how can i help my child now how can i make sure ki agar wo struggler struggling struggle kar raha hai aur ya agar he is he is a slow learner how can i make sure ki main uska haath pakad ke i bring him to the right or i yeah. can explain to the, to the child's teacher sometimes teachers don't understand also so you mm-hmm. as a parent have to be engaged on board and say okay I, i i can explain to you you need my help i can come to school also you need to also do certain things right Yeah, the blame yeah. is not the not the answer to this. There is yeah. nobody has to be blamed for it. Yeah, trust. एक तो trust आपका build हो जाए parent में बच्चे का आप में trust build हो जाए and we at the study center what we also try to do is that we try to sort of build a rapport with the child and then also like if I'm taking a child I will send him to Tamina also so she can gauge him better. You see, मेरे साथ उसका वो rapport बन जाएगा अब अब मैं उसके साथ you know uh, i could be more lenient yeah. with him more strict with him the she will be uh, like uh, i don't i can't find that the right word she will be unbiased and she will say yeah. okay adi you yahan pahunch gaya the fact is we we do what adila is trying to say we do our best yes whatever way the child learns and that's yeah. what the parents should be doing yeah, yeah. parents ko bhi yahi karna chahiye because that's what is going to help the child not finding the reason of who the cause was the cause is not yeah. going to help yeah now knowing talking about the reason the next thing cure is there any cure and can child grow out of it kya ye usse bahar aa sakta hai you mean a cure for a learning disability yeah 
or there is no even it's, it's not a it's not a disease it's not something like i have a i have a flu or maine usko anti allergy kha li nahi aisa nahi hai the cure i would say is acceptance i wouldn't yeah. say it's a cure right you need to accept that there is there is a, a child learns differently he's a differently able child he's a, he's is a most precious child and you need to help that child achieve the goals you want him to achieve like i said nothing is impossible right yeah every child learns differently and then you need to go ahead and find people who can actually help you to achieve that theek hai jis tarah like i said ki hamare usme acceptance aiste aiste bad rahi hai you know log accept karna shuru ho gaye hain ki bhai ha hamare bachcho ke hai learning disability hai they they try and find professionals who can help them out they are more open to the idea of going and getting a psych ed done theek hai अगर अगर स्कूल अगर इंडिकेट कर रहा है आपको कि भाई योर यू नो स्कूल फॉरन इंडिकेट करना शुरू कर देगा अगर कुछ बच्चे में होगा किंडर गार्डन में वन में डोंट वेट टू लॉन्ग डोंट फाइट विद द स्कूल के नहीं आपको नहीं पता और बच्चे में कुछ नहीं है बिकॉज यू आर द स्कूल इज वॉन्ट्स द बेस्ट फॉर योर चाइल्ड दे आर नॉट दे आर नॉट ट्राइंग टू अंडर माइंड यू इन एनी वे वट इज द पॉइंट फॉर डूइंग दैट दे वॉन्ट टू हेल्प यू दे वॉन्ट यू टू गेट सम एक्स्ट्रा हेल्प फॉर द चाइल्ड या पता चले कि क्या प्रॉब्लम है स्कूल के साथ लिए करके उनको बताएं कि भाई देखें ये ये है दिस इज वॉट आई हैव गॉट आई हैव गॉन टू प्रोफेशनल एंड दिस इज वॉट आई गॉट टेल मी हाउ कैन आई हेल्प फाइन इंस्टीट्यूट लाइक वी हैव वी आर द स्टडी सेंटर आई एम श्योर देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ दी अदर प्लेसेज विच विल हेल्प द चाइल्ड एकेडेमिकली डू दैट यू नो दैट वॉट इज नीडेड आई मीन डोंट लुक फॉर अ क्योर बिकॉज देर इज नो क्योर देर इज नो क्योर क्योर ये है जैसे स्ट्रगलिंग है तो आप उसको प्रॉपर और यू नो कमिटमेंट करें यू कान टेक अ चाइल्ड फॉर थ्री मंथ्स एंड देन यू फील द प्रोग्रेस हो रही एंड देन यू से एवरीथिंग इज डन ही हैज बीन क्योर्ड यू कैन नॉट डू वो क्योर हो गया क्योर नहीं है ये दिस इज नॉट दिस इज यू कुड जस्ट सी अ स्पाइक इन द चाइल्ड लर्निंग फॉर सम टाइम बट दैट स्पाइक डजेंट नेसेसरी मीन दैट चाइल्ड इज ऑन द पास ऑफ गुड लर्निंग ही मे नीड सपोर्ट फॉर अयर टू ईयर थ्री ईयर बट ट्राई इफ यू एक्सपेक्ट then give that support yeah okay you don't there can be solutions for their limitations but there can't be solutions cure. yeah so no, uh, there is there is no cure it's not like a, a cure when you hear the word cure i feel like you are taking a medicine like antibiotic or what theek ho gaya ya koi medicine le liya you see some learning disability jaise you know adhd or add comes under that umbrella comes under that spectrum right उसके अंदर होता है कि यू नो व्हेन यू गेट अ फुल स्केल इवैल्यूएशन डन दे सजेस्ट सम मेडिसिंस फॉर यू दैट्स अ डिफरेंट सिचुएशन ओके दैट्स नॉट अ क्योर दैट्स व्हाट द चाइल्ड नीड्स टू गेट टू बी एबल टू परफॉर्म एकेडेमिकली इवन दोस मेडिकेशंस आर नॉट द क्योर दे आर नॉट क्योर दे इज जस्ट हेल्प टू सपोर्ट और सपोर्ट द चाइल्ड सो दैट हिज माइंड और और हिज ब्रेन इन इज इन सच अ स्टेट दैट ही कैन परफॉर्म एकेडेमिकली या राइट So yeah. that it's you. You cannot say that. Ab, I have given the child this medicine. Now there is no problem. No, don't see. You, there is a responsibility a child has towards every child. Uh, every parent has towards a child, hmm. right? The parent whose responsibility to accept karta hai. So they have. They find, and we know our parents find ways to do anything for their children, right? So do that. Don't yeah. find a cure. Find the support. Yeah. Keep the support on till the support doesn't tell you and say that no, I think he's fine. He's on his way now. He will yeah. excel. Don't bring him. You know, sometimes I, I'll tell you in my twenty plus years of teaching, I have I have been a, a consultant. I've taught in different parts of the world, right? So many instances has happened that these kids get so attached to you. All these, you know, they they come to you. सारे बच्चे जो आते हैं जो आई यूज टू गेट दीज आई यूज टू वर्क इन इंटरनेशनल स्कूल ऑफ एमस्टरडेम ओके आई वॉज अ कंसल्टेंट दे सो आई इन द प्राइमरी सेक्शन इन एन आई बी स्कूल सो आई हैड दीज स्टूडेंट्स हुआ कमिंग टू मी फ्रॉम किंडर गार्डन दे केम टू मी टू ग्रेड वन ग्रेड टू एंड स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली ऑब्वियसली दे वर एक्सेलिंग सो दे वर रीचिंग दैट दैट एज एंड वी सेट ओके यू नो आई थिंक लेट स्लोली वीन दैम ऑफ दे डोंट नीड टू कम थ्री टाइम्स कम टू टाइम्स एंड फाइनली वेन यू लेट दैम गो they don't want to go they want to stay with you right even at that point 
that's not a support they need academically that emotional support they need emotional support. support yes you need to remember ke us waqt to break that tie not you or even a parent might do that don't do it because that tie yes. is giving that confidence to that child yeah. which is helping yeah. him excel right yeah so we yeah. Are, there's so like i said there's so many environmental factors so many independent factors we need to be very very sensitive to those yes huh. yeah मतलब हम गाइड कर सकते हैं जो क्योर गाइडेंस इज द क्योर सपोर्ट इज द क्योर आई वुड से हेल्प इज द क्योर एंड ऑफ कोर्स लव इज द क्योर एंड आई मीन बिल्डिंग द कॉन्फिडेंस इज द क्योर मतलब कोई क्विक फिक्स इलाज इसका है नहीं किसी भी चीज का राइट गेटिंग द राइट सपोर्ट इज द क्योर यस क्योंकि अब जैसे जो मेरा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है आई विल जस्ट जॉइन दिस विद दिस पार्ट के लोगों का ये कंसर्न होता है ना कि अगर फॉर इंस्टेंस मेरा बच्चा डिस्लेक्सिक है या उसको कोई ऑल लर्निंग डिसऑर्डर है अब अगर उसको ये बोल दिया जाए कि ये तो लाइफ लॉन्ग रहेगा ही जस्ट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू गो अलोंग विद इट तो कंसर्न ही होता है तो क्या फ्यूचर में जाके क्या उसको लोगों को ये बताना पड़ेगा क्या ये इन्फॉर्मेशन डिस्कलोज करनी पड़ेगी टू गेट अ गुड जॉब टू गेट एम्प्लॉयड समय लर्निंग डिसेबिलिटी अगर होगी सो समाइम्स वी नो फॉर अ फैक्ट दैट यू फाइंड आउट इवन इन यूनिवर्सिटी कि आपको कोई लर्निंग डिसेबिलिटी है राइट समाइम्स यू डोंट यू नो यू दीज चिल्ड्रन स्लिप थ्रू नेट्स एंड देन सडनली यू फाउंड आउट इन ग्रेड सिक्स के कभी किस बच्चे को ग्रेड सिक्स में कभी किसी 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 यूनिवर्सिटी में पता चलता है किसी किसी को एडल्ट हुड में पता चलता है राइट यू ओनली डिस्कलोज समथिंग लाइक दिस इफ यू फील दैट the environment you're going to go into right your inability to perform to that level will actually create some dangerous issues then you need to inform right yeah. agar dyslexic hai to you know obviously jo bhi reason hai agar left right nahi samajh sakta ya ya numbers nahi samajh sakta ya letters so th- agar koi aisi situation aisi job ki uh, usme ja raha hai jisme you know you mo- a lot of reading and that reading or would affect the the business or whatever you need to inform yeah. right yeah if you can't if you not don't inform and it affects or creates a catastrophe then obviously you are at fault yeah in that situation you have to and 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 you know i would suggest you do mm. right agar aap physically inability hai ya disability hai to wo to foran aapko nazar aa jati hai right मैन ऐसे कोई जगह कोई लर्निंग डिसेबिलिटी होती है तो यू लाइक यू नो यू आई वुड प्रेफर आई फील आई वुड प्रेफर आई वुड द वर्ड प्रेफर आई फील यू नीड टू लुक एट योर एनवायरनमेंट एंड जज डू यू नीड टू डिस्क्लोज या इज इट अफेक्टिंग द वर्किंग्स ऑफ द एनवायरनमेंट इज इट अफेक्टिंग द बिजनेस और इज इट अफेक्टिंग माय जॉब और बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस इज इट अफेक्ट डज इट हैव अ डोमिनो इफेक्ट ऑन समथिंग एल्स इफ द आंसर इज नो then there is no need yeah. right if the answer anywhere is a little bit iffy yes could be then of course then you need to inform the management say yes you know i have this but you know i've been working in this different different fields i i i understand why this is coming because you know nokri milna you know something with disability ke sath aap jaate ho to obviously you know people are not very accepting again we yeah. accepting ki baat aa jati hai they feel ke oh performance theek nahi hogi but you 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 need to only inform agar performance effect hoti hai or it affects anywhere down the line that's what yeah. my take is on that yeah. no i think i think ye to uh, sorry adila you can no, no, go ahead go ahead i was just saying that chale uh, employing is a stage to phir bhi aapki kafi adult mein ja ke aati hai when the child and the person knows who, who his own limitations his own capabilities yahan pe jab mujhse koi ye baat puchta hai main unko kehti hu ki aap abhi se bacche ko ye sik mat sikhaye ki isko chupana hai isko chupana hai you you need to cherish that it's a part of him yeah. or her you That's can't true. just ignore it and to ye to aap uski insecurity bana doge instead of learning to how to live with it they will always try to ignore it and hide that part of them which they cannot be hidden because that yes. is this is what is making them that's the true that's part true. of them if that's for instance true. if my son is not able to look in the eye first he didn't had any eye contact now he has mashallah but 
अगर मैं कहीं से मिलाने जाती हूँ जाहिर है अगर वो नहीं रिस्पॉन्ड कर रहा नहीं बात कर रहा इधर उधर देख रहा है लोग लोग को मैं कहूंगी नहीं नहीं अब वो ऐसी मूड नहीं है इसका यू छुपाऊंगी तो ये मेरा बच्चा फील करेगा ये बच्चा है उसकी इनसिक्योरिटी बन जाएगी कि ओके माई मदर डॉन्ट टू रिवील दिस सो आई जस्ट कीप आइसोलेटिंग माई सेल्फ एंड देन बच्चे अपने आप में एंड देन ये सब चीजें जाके भी आगे फर्दर और अगर कोई चीज ऐसी मिलती है जब आपका इवेल्यूशन होता है एंड एंड ऑब्वियसली पेरेंट्स यू नो इट्स नॉट नॉट अ वेरी नाइस थिंग टू एक्सेप्ट समथिंग लाइक इट्स नॉट वेरी इजी वी इट्स वेरी इजी टू टॉक बट नॉट इजी टू एक्सेप्ट इट राइट ऑफ कोर्स इट हैज टू बी एक्सेप्टेड ठीक है फॉर द सेक ऑफ योर चाइल्ड एंड फॉर द सेक ऑफ योर सेल्फ यू मस्ट डिस्कस इट विद योर चाइल्ड यू हैव टू ओपन अप इट योर चाइल्ड उसको डिस्कस करके यू नीड टू लेट देम नो के भाई दिस इज व्हाट इट इज एवरीवन आस्क्स लेट देम नो व्हाट्स द प्रॉब्लम ये ये जो बिहेवियर जो है ना इस तरह से यू एम्पावर द चाइल्ड ही बिकम्स मोर कॉन्फिडेंट ही सेज आई एम नथिंग इज रॉन्ग यू नो यू आई डोंट नो समटाइम्स आई हैव आई हैव सीन यू नो दीस समटाइम्स दीस किड्स हु आर वेरी स्ट्रांग एंड वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट दे कम बैक टू सेड आई एम नॉट व्हाट इज रॉन्ग विद मी नथिंग इज रॉन्ग विद मी यू नो यू हैव योर चाइल्ड शुड बी लाइक दैट कॉन्फिडेंट एंड ही कैन ओनली बी व्हेन यू व्हेन दे सी द पेरेंट इज कॉन्फिडेंट या पेरेंट इज एक्सेप्टिंग द चाइल्ड द पेरेंट एक्सेप्ट करेगा you need to discuss aapko apne bachche ke you need to like i said you need to empower your child isse bachcha itna confident ho jayega and what's the harm you know isse log accept bhi karenge i think a lot of people now hamare i think hamare mahol mein after coming from abroad i have changed seen a lot of change in our in our in our society yes. people are very accepting now yes Yes, they are. They are opening up. You know, बहुत सारी चीजें ऐसी positive हो रही हैं हमारे society में, which is a very, you know, it's 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 so um, it's a heartwarming because yeah. you know that's what you want. Yeah. और उस situation में आप मेरी advice तो ये है कि discuss with your child. They at their obviously at their stage. You cannot discuss a uh, psychic uh, uh, with them. and explain mm-hmm. at that day, and and you know all these questions which could be directed to them empower them with the answers yeah yeah whenever they grow up because you can't of, of you, you can't talk to a kindergartner or a grade 1 or a grade 2 child with that you need to you know you need to understand which what age your child is at at that yeah. age according to that age you unko us tarah aap samjhao ke wo bhi samjhenge ki theek hai you know so what what's wrong with me nothing is wrong with me i can do this this can you do that no i can do this you know something like that thoda yeah, positive way mein explain karne ki zarurat hai bilkul sahi hai you need the support again it's all about support agar aap apne bacche ka confidence usko wo support denge ki you are loved by me by your family and your friends to bacche mein wo cheez waise hi kam ho jayegi yeah usko kya chahiye usko love chahiye usko acceptance chahiye wo jab aapne usko de diya Oh, academic, so देखो उसके सेम नहीं हुए या हुए इवेंचुअली physic you know he theek hai academically wherever he can get he gets there and because he would be confident and because he will see that people around him are showing that yes you have done really well that's what matters right you have, you you have you been so far that's what matters to us i don't care if your child if your friend is getting uh, you know hamare usme hamare ye problem bahut zyada hai ke a kiska aaya aur b kiska aaya aur c kiska aaya ye bahut comparisons mein बहुत सारे बच्चे फ्रस्ट्रेट हो जाते हैं बिल्कुल। वी नीड टू बी केयरफुल अबाउट दैट इज वेल हम बच्चों बच्चे के साथ उसको समझाएं ठीक है यू डोंट वांट टू इस तरह समझाएं कि वो काम करना ही यू नो छोड़ दे कि नो आई यू नीड टू कीप देम मोटिवेटेड या राइट मोटिवेटेड करना है एंपावर करना है या बट सपोर्ट करके ऑलवेज बी देयर फॉर देम 
पेरेंट ऑलवेज इज पेरेंट हमेशा होता है अपने बच्चों के साथ लेकिन मोटिवेट hmm. आपको यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर कि ऐसा नहीं कि वो बच्चा सोचे कि नहीं यू you नो know, अच्छा मुझ में ये है आई कॉन्ट डू दिस नो यू नीड टू मोटिवेट यू कैन डू इट लेट्स ट्राई एंड डू इट and do it to the you have this limitation you are still yeah. will be able you can still do it let's see how much can you do it yeah you know that's the yeah. question how much can you do it i don't want you to do all the way if you can do all the way that's perfect but if you can't do all the way let's see where you can get you know let's celebrate what you can do mm, right okay i i've taken a lot of time but i'll just take few questions uh, from the i'll just show it on the screen that is a slow learner and struggling learner the same okay see like i said a struggling learner can be brilliant he could be struggling because of several reasons it could be because he lacks confidence or he is emotionally very sensitive something is happening in his environment in his is is in his, at his home which is not letting me letting him um you know uh focus and because he's not been able to focus he's lagging behind and he's struggling in his work yeah right that's a struggling learner a slow and he might if if given uh, if he is put in a situation where everything is right environmental he has got the support he has got the content he will start excelling yeah struggle will start slowly and gradually the struggle will be over and he will be on his path where he should be for a slow learner is always remain it's not he learns slowly like this the name states slow learner right he he learns slowly you have to give him time you cannot expect every child to finish something in 20 minutes the child might take 30 minutes he will take maybe he takes time to process maybe it yeah. takes time to grasp an idea could be anything right it could be maybe there is visually there is visual impairment there is mm. you know his uh, auditory issues processing is slow there could be many reason any reason he is achieving it slowly okay all right that's yeah. a slow learner yeah. and he will always be a slow learner mm. okay yeah. a struggling learner not necessarily will be a struggling learner always okay yeah okay. uh one uh, another question so can a child with asd autism and adhd be a struggling learner so this is what you're talking about asd autistic spectrum and the adhd fact this is under the umbrella this is a this mm. if the child has been diagnosed mm. and have been labeled with these and a full scale evaluation has been done right depending where the strengths and weaknesses are for the child sometimes an autistic child is brilliant in numbers but he's mm. struggling in literacy yeah so we can call him a struggling learner mm. sometimes an adhd child is is brilliant in uh, music or whatever he likes art or something cannot, yeah, or cannot do math for the life of it yeah he can be a struggling learner right mm. so these are what these are learning the the two asd and adhd are under the umbrella yeah so we have to follow the you know the psych ed report and see what recommendations have been made and and we have to recognize the fact where will they struggle yeah and make sure we we support him in that struggle so that mm. they can get by you know mm. because like i said brilliant children are a autistic child sometimes it brilliant in you know they could be they could be uh, uh i have seen a child brilliant in spelling but couldn't read <laughs> so 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 i mean with the life of it you just kept uh, yeah it's very interesting he he was i know an this child who i used to work he, it was an indian inclusive school in dubai where he he was he's an autistic child i'm still in touch with him by the way is is a great yeah i remember his name so he he just he he could memorize his spelling he was in grade 1 and he was memorizing spelling is a grade 2 and grade 3 wow and he couldn't read he was yeah. struggling couldn't comprehend because see comprehension is a big aspect yeah, in autism right yeah 
yes inferencing was in, so these are certain things so they will struggle right they are struggling yes so they will struggle because they are being diagnosed okay they have Just a diagnosis. one uh, last question uh, adila and tamina i think this is in respect to slow learner and struggling learner that how do we help both of them because most of the teachers do not recognize or identify okay so helping helping them first of all i would say we'll start from the house from from the home uh, if a mother is able to recognize it then she can figure out many ways of helping that child like they mean i said if a child is not good in math he might be good in english or if mm. he learns well with painting teach him through paint yeah uh, he should be able to express himself chahe wo mm. math ho आर्ट हो या हिस्ट्री हो या जो भी हो ऑडियो विजुअल से कर लें आप आप उसको बड़े ग्रुप में नहीं दो के ग्रुप में पढ़ा लें आप उसके लिए जैसे बॉडी सिस्टम जैसे बाहर होता है यूनिवर्सिटीज में तीन चिल्ड्रन तीन बच्चे मिल के पढ़ते हैं दो बच्चे मिल के पढ़ते हैं मतलब इस तरह की उसको स्किल सेट दे दें और फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तो ऑफकोर्स रिकग्नाइज करवाएं कि उसको कहीं ना कहीं जो भी लैग है वो है और उसको ओवरकम कैसे करना है घर पे भी एंड ऑफ कोर्स लाइक द ट्रायंगल घर पे भी करना है टीचर भी करेगी और मे बी आपको सोशल इश्यूज हो रहे हैं उस वजह से बिकॉज ऑफ चिल्ड्रन नॉट यू नो इंक्लूडिंग हेम और समथिंग देन ऑफ कोर्स ही वुड नीड सम 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 ऑफ थेरेपी मे बी और सम 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 हेल्प समवेयर Like, and i think go, adila here comes the statement that you said earlier that even if you are not trained to do something it doesn't mean you can't do anything you can refer to someone who is trained enough to help them yes you do your bit yeah recognition is yeah. huge this part where because most teachers do not recognize or identify them so it's not a teacher's job to recognize see, recognition is what teacher can do is can see some signs yeah, yeah red flags yeah she who i mean teacher a good teacher will always pick up ki ye bachcha jo hai na hamesha slow kar raha hai he is never mm. finishing on time he is not writing or he is not gripping the pencil properly or he is not writing it properly right wo teacher wo dekh leti hai and teacher can indicate to the parent that you know uh, we are, i'm just watching the child but uh, to a certain level you can't take long like kindergarten mein bhi watch kar rahe ho one grade 1 mein bhi grade 2 mein agar yeah. teacher ne indicate kar diya hai get on top of it keep mm. on following up the teacher that ha- what has happened has it moved forward has it helped so you as a parent are have been uh, uh, made aware of it teacher yeah. ka kaam recognize karna nahi hai teacher mm. indicate kar deti hai aapko ki bhai aapka bachcha nahi pad raha hai wo read nahi kar raha you know frustration ke is tarah aapko indicate kar degi mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately uh, some of our most of our schools you know they have great teachers they do indicate to you but you know ek ek uh, ek system nahi hai ki jahan pe after indicating you where do you take that you know wo baat kahan pahunchegi a lot of schools do have the system where it goes to the principal and the principal then raises it and then starts to guide the parent right but the schools do have that but teacher ka kaam sirf indicate karna hota hai aur parent ko accept karna hota hai agar parent dekhta hai ki teacher bar bar ek cheez bol rahi hai right to pe- that is a flag for the ch- for the parent parent mm. agar accept nahi karega to wo time waste kar raha hai mm. yeah i don't blame the yeah. teacher ki teacher ne recognize nahi kiya identify nahi kiya mm. teacher mm. ab teacher clues degi aapko yeah, exactly. teacher kya aapko aake nahi bolegi ki aapka bachcha dyslexic hai ya aapka ah, bachcha वो नहीं बोलेगी बिकॉज शी इज नॉट ट्रेन टू डू दैट शी इज योर टीचर शी इज शी इज हेल्पिंग योर चाइल्ड टू रीड राइट लर्न एंड यू नो आगे मैथ करा रही जो भी वो उनका काम है आप इंडिकेट जरूर करेंगे आप पेरेंट टीचर मीटिंग्स होती हैं उसमें आगे आपको इंडिकेट करे कि भाई आपका बच्चा जो टाइम बहुत ले रहा है एंड कॉन्स्टेंटली समथिंग एक दफा दो दफा तीन दफा कॉन्स्टेंटली समथिंग इज कमिंग अप देन दैट शुड बी अ फ्लैग फॉर यू यू नीड टू इन्वेस्टिगेट क्यों हो रहा है क्यों इस तरह बार बार हो रहा है राइट ऑफ कोर्स प्रॉब्लम ये होता है ना कि डायरेक्शन नहीं मिलती आपको द पेरेंट्स द स्केरीएस्ट थिंग फॉर द पेरेंट इज यू डोंट हैव अ डायरेक्शन वे विल आई गो आफ्टर दिस स्कूल को पता चल जाएगा तो वो ऐसा नहीं मेरे बच्चे को स्कूल से निकाल दे हां ये बहुत होता है सो जस्ट टेक इट लाइटली एक्सेप्टिंग कि ठीक है लेट मी हेल्प द चाइल्ड फाइंड समबडी हु हैज बीन रिकमेंडेड और आस्क द प्रिंसिपल और आस्क यू नो टीचर डू यू हैव समवन यू कैन रिकमेंड 
when you oh. and go to that person then tell the issues ki ye ye hai chupaye nahi samne bata de ki ye ye issues hai chupane ki bahut aadat hoti hai ki they want to tell right oh. so tell oh. then take us waqt ja ke agar fir wo agar you know if you are coming to a specialist or a remedial teacher or or you know whoever they if they are again enhance the fact ki nahi there is something going on we need a bigger picture of it then of mm. course then when you decide ki theek hai is there a disability there but it i don't think the teacher's responsibility is that he, he just, the teacher should just indicate to you or wo aapko flag kar degi bachche ko ki bhai nahi ye ho raha hai ho raha hai you know also one thing i would just like to add in this that, uh, that every school is not for every child ye yes. bhi hai baat कि मतलब जरूरी नहीं है कि आपका बच्चा अगर इस स्कूल में नहीं परफॉर्म कर रहा तो आप जबरदस्ती उसको वहीं रखें आप उस मे बी यू कैन चेंज द स्कूल आई मीन वी डोंट हैव लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शन बट वी डू हैव मेनी मोर देन वी हैड अर्लियर लाइक यू नो बट यू नो हमारे उसमें आई थिंक प्रॉब्लम्स हैं थोड़ी के यू नो यू नीड टू यू वांट टू गो टू वन स्पेसिफिक स्कूल और दैट राइट अगेन जो एक स्कूल के लेबल के लिए जिस तरीके से पेरेंट्स यंग दे वर वेरी फ्यू ऑप्शन Hmm. schools hmm. Are, have improved and schools are like they mean i said they are accepting they are taking all this on board to so, aapke yeah. paas aapko hopeless hone ki zarurat nahi hai nahi agar i mean it's tough but you are already on that road ki aapka ex school mein nahi ja raha to ab y ka try kar lo ha or and but when the, you are asking this question ye jo unhone pucha tha when you asked that question that if the teacher is not recognizing the fact or identifying the fact does that mean that you are identifying and recognizing it if you hmm. are doing it then take it on board yourself don't yeah. wait for the teacher to bring it up to you hmm. go and discuss with someone who is who is a professional hmm. or who you know through someone that oh is a professional aajkal to social media itna you know you you can yeah. find anything and everything on the social media yes yes yeah so just just Simple. take it in your hand agar aapko lag raha hai ki bhai kuch issue hai आपको से बात करने की जरूरत है प्रोफेशनल से दो चार करें बात करें यू नो दे माइट एक्सप्लेन यू समथिंग समथिंग माइट क्लिक एंड यू अंडरस्टैंड यू नीड टू टेक द इनिशिएटिव रादर देन जस्ट ब्लेमिंग ऑन द टीचर बिकॉज टीचर हैज यू हैव टू रिमेंबर 25 किड्स इन द क्लास और समटाइम्स 30 किड्स इन द क्लास क्लास राइट इज इट्स नॉट ह्यूमनली पॉसिबल फॉर अ टीचर टू डू एवरीथिंग देयर इन द क्लास एंड इट्स आवर रिस्पांसिबिलिटी आल्सो दैट द ट्रायंगल दैट या एब्सोल्युटली ट्रू या and uh, i think even if they are not getting uh, the right school and the right platform i think there are centers like study center and many others that can give that extra help and give yep. them that uh, support that they require yep. so there are now um, facilities available yeah yes. and in this uh, covid environment we we are, we have in closed shop we also have online we are doing zoom classes yeah yeah yes. and i think study center is doing online classes also We are, yes. we are doing it. We yeah. have. So I think using the right technology can help you in many ways. Absolutely, Abs- You just have to yeah. take the initiative, right? You have to take the yeah. commitment, being be committed to something. Be committed to your child that you are going to help him succeed, right? That's what your responsibility, as well as responsibility of the teacher and school is as well. But it lies on your shoulders. Yeah. So thank you so much, Adil and Damina. I took so much of your time, and I think what you shared is what uh, we need. Uh, this we need this education. We need this basic information that parents struggle with. And uh, before I ask, uh, before you guys leave, I just uh, uh, would like first that uh, would you like to give a message to the members of the group? Second, if they want to get in touch with Study Center, what's the procedure? Okay, Damina, you go first. Okay so my just my message is always be there be there for your child always okay uh and take the responsibility empower your child accept your child however whoever he or she is okay and uh we are there to help anytime you want to call us we have our uh, 
we have uh, we are uh, we are on social media on facebook as well it's yeah. called yeah. there is a whatsapp number there is an email as well so just whatsapp us we, or call us anytime i'll put your information in the description of the video also perfect and then we we uh, i think we had a new flyer as well coming out uh, about our zoom lessons and i have a list on the page also okay and that that uh, you just info, uh, call us and uh, we have someone every every day we there is someone always available for you okay even if you want to have a chat you can just call us and have a chat okay yeah, and the chat and, uh, and uh, the chat i had with you changed my son's life so thank you for that chat <laughs> i'll well, always remember like that like i said along this 20 plus years of my life i remember so many instances parents children you know that i i feel so blessed that i i was there to help in some way you know i couldn't be there for everything but if ever if it's a point also which has helped you something that's that's my i would say it's my uh, uh you know i meri kush kismati it's my yeah. luck that i was able to help it was i'm happy to help anyone you know study center is there for it okay Absolutely. and um, my, i would say yeah, that yeah. Uh, like, I, i would say that you can what you can do for a child is just give them love give them love give them the nurture them that's all they need i mean uh, because as a parent th that is what you can do with with that love then that will open pathways to you know many other ways ke okay ab mere ab is bacche ko is cheez ki zarurat hai ab is cheez so when you open that channel with your child basically you're opening a whole new world for them yes. which they will need regular children any child and we all need love i mean as adults as children so i think if if we do give love and we get love i think everything sort of encompasses that and it makes it easy for everyone yeah and of course the study center is available and uh, we in any way that we can help we can put you across somebody or we we can be the yeah. wants to help you it's it's uh, like we are there and that's why we are here and thank, thank you so, so much, much for having us on this uh, yeah, you know, thank you for the honor that you guys could give us so much time and no. come to my page it's a pleasure it's any time any time thank you thank you so much thank you so much to ba take care take, take care, care everyone whoever all our listeners thank you for joining us thank you and bye bye bye, bye, -bye. thank you So uh, guys these were wonderful Adila and Tamina I'll uh, I'll add all the description of the study center where you can uh, get in touch with them uh, in the description I'll tag the Facebook page also uh, all the information if you just search the study center if there's this tree icon uh, and uh, you can um, uh, contact them and they are there to help trust me the on the best thing uh, they are providing is with genuine guidance and help that change that helped me so much i'm sure people can get so much benefit from this for the children and themselves from the study center so please do get in touch uh, even if they are they won't be able to provide help they will guide you to the right people so and i think this is what my motto is also my, from this page uh, team neurodiversity so i hope this session was uh, beneficial and you got uh, you busted many myths and misconceptions in your head about slow learners and uh, learning disable uh, learning disorders uh, i hope to see you in the next session as well take care allah hafiz